hello what's up guys welcome back to my channel and if you are new here my name is emmanuel in today's video we'll be generating a random article but not just from anywhere from wikipedia okay so let's get into it but before we take a step into the tutorial make sure you smash the like button click the subscribe button and hit the notification bell now let's start so the first thing we're gonna do is of course you're gonna need request to make requests to the internet so if you don't have that you can just open your command prompt i'm gonna do it from here because i'm gonna need this later okay so if you're mac or linux just right click you should see open the terminal with your windows just come up here and do what i'm about to do type cmd that should open up your command prompt so what i'm doing basically i did basically I'll just make sure my command prompt is open in the same directly of directory of folder with my file now we need to install request unfortunately i have that installed already okay so if you don't have oh. so if you don't have that um, installed already make sure you install it if that doesn't work try try pip3 and if you have any questions on how to install it just comment down in the comment section below and answer your questions we're gonna do that oh as you can see requirement already satisfied so if you don't have it installed already just make sure yours was successfully installed at the bottom so i'll just ignore this warning for now now that's the thing we're gonna be needing so we're just gonna get it the, the good thing about this is the, the logical path has been handled for us which you don't have to worry about which some of us might be thinking we would have to do so what we just do is we're just gonna do from we import requests okay oh yeah we also need to install beautiful soup okay we need beautiful soup to pass our um, request content that's the the text html or the text so, then we're, so to install it we're gonna do pip install bs4 as well as you can see, I also have that satisfied, requirement already satisfied. Okay, we want to make sure it also successfully installed. Now, to do, we're going to do from BS4 import beautiful soup. Now, we're going to be that's what we need for now. So, to get the random article, we're going to create a URL variable and we're going to paste this. So, this here is going to automatically do all the logic for us. We're going to get random article. So, if I should come to my web browser here and spin that up and open a new tab, control V. As you can see it spins up a random article from nowhere i'm going to minimize that and now we know that's all we have to request for and i'm going to call this article page article page and i'm going to say request dot get so what we're going to get is the url now when we do that we're going to come here now we want to get the soup okay we're going to use beautiful soup to to change it to an object to which we can get html elements from so that's it in layman's them okay or in, a, in an easy term for you so we're just gonna do article page dot and then we'll do text now we're passing it we're passing the text content of the article page we've gotten from the request they'll get and then we need to pass in a parser and we're gonna use html parser since we're not doing much okay and then we're gonna come here now we've gotten the soup what we have to do now is we're gonna say print the title of the random article is and then we we'll just put the title in here that will be soup so let's store this in the variable i'll call this article title so that'll be soup dot find now if you come here we're gonna have to inspect the html element for this if you come here we're gonna let me widen this maximize we inspect as you can see our html our header the title is in a div an id of first heading so that's all we need this id we're going to copy that and then we're going to come back here we're going to do the find and then we're going to say id is equals to we're going to put that in strings i'm going to paste that there that should do it now if i print article so printing article title this way it's just going to give us the HTML object now to get the actual object we're going to do the string or you can also do the text so we're going to test that for now so if i do control b we can just run it from here since we have this open already so you run it to be python and we key the name of your file the pi as you can see this is the title of the random article valentina better name we don't know what that is so what we're gonna do is since we've gotten okay let me cancel this since we've gotten the random article what we're gonna do now is we're gonna say we're gonna add some spice to it or so whatever you want to call it so we're gonna say if um 
Now what I want to do is I want to ask these if they want to open the article. So if they want to open it, we're gonna open it. Else, we're not. Go we're just gonna print the URL out. We need that with anyway. So we're gonna say read. We're gonna call this read. Sorry for that. And then we're gonna say input. Do you want to view the article? And then if read is equal to yes or why? Yes or why or n? If it is equal to y now how do we run it we have luckily for us we have a built-in python library that will help us with this so we just import web browser that will do what we need to do so we just come here and then we do web browser the open that's all we have to do now when we want to open of course if you try opening this it's going to open it this in our web browser which will give us another article that's what we want okay from here from this title now what we're gonna do is we're gonna get the title of the page from this soup and then that's what we're gonna open which means we open the same article so that'll be soup.url else or there's just no need for else we we'll just come down here and then we'll do print sorry for that we're gonna do print the url is and then we're just gonna put soup.url now so that that should settle all that i'm gonna come here i'm gonna run it now as you can see this is the title so i don't want to read the article let's see if you get the url okay oh it says the url is none soup the url oh oh my sorry the url is is you can only get that from the article page okay you now we made a request from this and that's where we're gonna get the url from sorry just give over it just skipped over my head we're gonna do source by article page sorry just have to take a second look at this so if i run it again we should work this time around so if i do no now okay we get the url which is similar to this the title okay now we're gonna try the yes and see what it does so i'm gonna do yes which is why as you can see it spins up the url immediately so if i should open this you see we have pretty much the same thing if you look at the title maharaj or whatever it is i don't want to butcher, I don't want to butcher the pronunciation okay and it works perfectly one that thing you can do is you don't even have to, you don't have to go through all this process all you can do is just spin up the random article instantly with web browser that open since they all the only see the random article now that's it for the video thanks for watching if you enjoyed it then you should give it a thumbs up and make sure you subscribe so you don't miss out on my next epic content much love guys peace out